All right, hi guys, it's me, Mr. Holmes. I'm here at uh, Lake Patton, and it's uh, Saturday the, uh, the 16th, and I'm at a, at a paddling race, and we're going to take a look at some of the different boat shapes and see how the different boat shapes might deal with uh, going faster and what different designs might do for, for different boats. So you can see we've got a lot of different boats out there. So let's go take a peek and see what we've All right, so I've got Heather Nelson here, and Heather Nelson, uh, today is riding a stand-up paddleboard. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what a stand-up paddleboard is and why this one's fast? Um, this is called the Starbird New. It's 12 and a half feet long, um, 25 inches wide. Stand-up paddleboard, basically you, you're standing up on your board, you've got a paddle, single blade paddle, and you're paddling to move yourself. So stand okay. up, paddleboard. <laughs> And what makes this one fast? What, is, um, what does this board do that makes it go fast? I'd say this board, a couple of things that make a board fast. Um, it's fairly narrow, 25 inches wide. So that is one way to make a board fast. The whole design. Um, pretty flat board is usually fairly fast. Or um, not much rocker on this board. So if you look at it this way. It's, it's pretty fat, flat along the lane, which makes the board a little bit fast. Um, this is kind of an unusual design with the amount of volume that it has. And, uh, and for so, whatever reason... Have you, ever won a, have you ever won a race on this? Yeah, um, I haven't lost a race on this board yet. <laughs> oh, great. And how fast does this board go in miles per hour? Um, I would say on a flat water ball, I could bring it up to about 5.8. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Sure. So did your interview work well? Nelson here, and uh, he's a local paddler. And Brandon, tell us, what, what are you in right now? What am I in? Yeah. This is called a Larry! It's a surf ski, and uh, tell me a little bit about a surf ski. A surf ski is an ocean racing kayak designed to catch swells in the open ocean and go downwind really fast. All right, what makes it go fast? Two things, three things. It's right, really oh. narrow. It's really narrow. It has a cylindrical cross section, so minimal wet surface area. What does that? What does that have to do with friction? The less wetted surface area you have, the faster you can go because there's less friction. And how fast can you go in this boat? I can go 10 and a half miles an hour on flat water or out in the ocean. The sky's the limit. As fast as the waves are moving. Wow. All right. You said there were two other things. There's also the length. There's an optimal length to the vessel moving through the water because of the waves it creates. And, and how long is this one? This one's 21 feet long. Wow. That's long. <laughs> And it doesn't have much rocker. So like a banana, if you look at a banana, that's got a lot of rocker. That's slow, but it turns fast. This doesn't have rocker. It's really straight. It doesn't turn fast at all, but it goes straight fast. All right. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you, Andy. Gwen Howitt, and she's going to talk to us about a racing canoe. Okay, this is a marathon canoe, racing canoe. So what you might notice is right off the bat, the shape is very different than an average canoe that you take camping. Okay, so first of all, the shape of the bow, how it plows into the wave, and then this part where it bellies out here is for stability, because otherwise it'd look like a surf ski, right? So, um, in terms of, and then see how it curves back into the bottom back here? So that's for the draft, so once you displace the water, which is involves how much friction is going to hit the boat, it comes off the side, and then it tapers back in to be out of the way. <laughs> so the other things on this boat that really affect how fast this boat is, first of all, it's made of carbon, very lightweight, so you displace less water. You can see the carbon weave here. So very, very, very lightweight, as are the carbon paddles. Very expensive, but nice carbon paddles. So over a long distance, that's a lot less weight. And, and, what's, also, and what's this, this and top? This, this right here is for wind draft. It has two features. One, it keeps water out of the boat because if you get water in the boat from splashing, it makes the boat heavier, slows you down, okay? And then also, it's for wind draft. So, and the same up here, same idea on the bow. So you want to minimize amount of wind that's swirling inside the boat and creating drag. What's the farthest you've ever paddled one of these? 
When I think marathon, I think long distances. What's the longest you've ever done? The longest I've ever done is about 27 miles, but the ski to sea race is what I race this year. This is the type of boat, the fast boats used in the ski to sea race on the Nooksack River. And how many miles per hour can you go when you're pa on your really depends on whether you're in a flat lake like this or if you have the benefit of a river current with you. So anywhere on a flat lake like this, flat out drag racing, we might do over seven miles an hour, but if you get on the Nooksack, depending on the level of the water and how fast the river's going, then you have to paddle extra faster RPM to keep up with the current of the river and also add power to it. So you could do, sometimes we do 11, 12 miles an hour on the Nooksack. Wow, that's fast. Thank you so much, Gwyn and uh, good racing today. All right, thanks. Eric Gerstel, and he's an outrigger paddler. Can you tell us a little bit about an outrigger and what makes it fast? Um, well, what makes any boat fast is pretty much the paddler <laughs> for the most part. But uh, these outriggers, um, they're fairly streamlined like a surf ski. Um, but what makes it different than a surf ski is you paddle it with a canoe paddle instead of a kayak. Can you show us one of those? Yeah, you bet. Here you have a here you have a canoe paddle, and then here you have basically a surf ski paddle. Or All right, so one's got two blades, and the other one's one just two one. Two blades and one, and that is the whole reason for the outrigger, so that you can paddle with a single blade. So in a kayak, you've got that balance back and forth. In a canoe, you don't. You're on one side or the other. So the outrigger kind of helps give you that stability to paddle like a canoe. So what's this piece over here called? That is the outrigger or the ama. Okay. Um, the, the attachments to the boat are the Yakos, I A K O S, um, and then the hull of the boat. And um, yeah, I mean, what else do you? What is what is the purpose of this of the of the Yama? To keep you upright, so you can paddle it like a canoe. Okay. And otherwise, if this if this wasn't on there in any kind of a rough water, that hull would just basically roll over. On. Great job! And look at this. This is a this is a this is a two person. Outrigger. Good job. And how fast do you guys go in this? Uh, what do we do? Up to nine. Nine miles per hour. Peak. Wow, and that, is that faster than a than a one person outrigger? Sure. Yeah. For sure. Two That's, is better than one. Two is better than one more force? Yeah. All right. Good job too on that stand up board. All right. Thank you. All right. Force in motion. Woo! Don't forget.